In this video, I'm going to show you a customized running total. Let's go. Here we are for another Tableau video, and this is actually my second attempt at filming this because I accidentally deleted the old one. So I had to film this again. And this video is actually for Casper Berkland, and I'm so sorry, Casper, that it's taking me longer. Uh, yeah, this is what happens when you clear out your computer. You lose a bunch of stuff and the files got corrupted. So that's okay. We film it again. So here we go. Uh, the question is, what if you don't want to add up everything, but only the last two weeks, for example, so a running total over the last two weeks? Okay, so let me show you how this works. If you don't know how running totals uh, work, I have a video just on that. So go ahead, check that out if you're not too sure. So let me show you how we're going to solve this problem. I've got the sample superstore data that I'm going to load up. Now you can use pretty much any data set you want because, you know, we can do running totals on all sorts of things. But if you want to follow, it is in the description below. Okay, we're going to load this up. And I know there's a lot of fields in this data, but really all we need is two things. A date for, you know, the access going this way and then some sort of measure to count kind of going upwards or sum or aggregate. So we're going to grab order date. I'm going to just double click that. There we go. And I'm going to bring sales in, just kind of a very simple one that people can understand. And maybe we'll move that into rows. Okay. And I always find that bars are a little bit easier. There we go. And we're going to increase the granularity. And I'm actually going to move my face now. Let's go all the way over here. Okay. And we're going to increase this to be continuous. So I'm going to be using these ones right here. And we're going to go, let's say, let's go month. Okay, here we go. So we've got the month values. Now the question is, it, how do I do the running totals just for these last two figures? Well, you can't do a two week or two month running total for the whole thing. You basically have to try and isolate these two values and then do a running total. And I think in the question was weeks. So we'll, we'll do weeks actually. So we'll go week number. So now this is weeks. And you can see it's pretty granular and I don't want it like that for the example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring order date in here. And I'm just going to do the last year, which is like 2020. There we go. Just so we have a little bit less that we have to deal with. I'm going to add the labels in. Okay. And you'll see why. So I've got the numbers there. And actually, you know what? I'm going to remove a few more months just so we can see the figures. So drop order date in there again. We go months. And let's just do, you know, maybe these six. All right. So tick and OK. All right, there we go. So you can now start to see the values a little bit better. And we really want to isolate these two. So if I just do a normal running total, let's look at what happens. So I'm going to duplicate the sum of sales. I'm just going to hold control and I'm going to drag this one over here. And it just gives me a second one. Or you can just, you know, grab it from over here and bring it in. Either way. Then I'm going to do a running total, quick table, running total. And you can see that it's done the running total for the whole thing. Now, if I isolate it to just these two, right, to get the last two months, I can do that. But I'll tell you why I'm not going to, because you may lose some of the visibility of your data, right, to show that this was the last two weeks. So probably what I would recommend is have this visual plus another one which shows the last two weeks. So let me show you how we do that. Move myself all the way over here again. Go ahead, I'm going to do a new sheet. There we go. And let's do that. So I'm going to bring in sales, all right? So we'll just drop it into rows. I'm going to make this a bar. Let's bring the order date in straight away. And let's make this week. Okay. And the last week we have actually is 28th of December. And it's very important that we know that date. So what I'm going to use is something called relative filtering. And relative filtering lets me say five weeks ago. 10 weeks ago, three months ago, uh, a year ago, right? As opposed to saying first of the first 2021 to first of the 12th, right? So there's two kinds of main filtering we do for dates. So if I grab a date field here and drop it into filters, you're going to see range of dates, which is like first of the first and, you know, first of the 12th, something like that, where you set the actual dates and relative, which is like three weeks ago, 10 weeks ago, whatever. All right. So we're going to use relative date. And here in relative date, we're going to say, well, how far back do we want to go? Well, firstly, we want to do weeks. So we click weeks and we say how many weeks going backwards. So in this case, we go here 
and we go two weeks. Okay, now if I hit apply, watch what happens to this visualization. It's going to disappear. And the reason is, this is anchored, right? When they say anchored, when you say two weeks ago, two weeks from when? So usually it's from today's date. So if I say two weeks ago from today's date, this data exists for, uh, I believe, 28th of December 2020. So there actually isn't data from two weeks ago. So instead, you want to say anchor relative to that date in your data set, which I think is 28th of December. There we go. We set it to that, and then we go apply. And what you'll see, if I go OK, you're going to see two values. Right? So let's bring up what those values are. So I'm going to press this little button right here. So 21, 4, 3, 3, and 5, 2, 8, 7. So let's have a look at the other one. You can see here 21, 4, 3, 3, and 5, 2, 8, 7. So typically what I'll do is I'll create a dashboard using this button right here. I'll bring both of them in side by side like that. We'll just size it for display. Move my face again. Okay. A little bit more like that. And then I would just reduce this to be like this. And let's say this is last two weeks. Okay. Uh, and actually, we forgot the running total. So last two weeks um, running total. Okay. So to do the running total, we're just going to go back to that sheet. Just move my face again. All right. And we're just going to right click here, running total. That's it. So now we have our running total. So if I go back to the dashboard, you can see our values there. This running total obviously is going to be very different from this one because it does not include all these previous values. All right. So that is how you do two weeks over the uh, two weeks running total over the last two weeks. So Casper, uh, hopefully this solves your problem. If it doesn't, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you at the next video. Bye.